Are you a ruminator or are you a problem solver? And does it matter? Well, I'm Dr. Amanda Mullen and I'm a clinical psychologist and I think it does matter. If you are someone who ruminates, it tends to be quite unpleasant. And often the reason why my clients ruminate is they find it helpful. And I know that sounds weird, but when we ruminate, we tend to pick a thought. We'll say, I'm really worried about, insert thing we're worried about. And then we repeat that thought. I'm really worried about it. I'm really worried. We really focus on that thought. And all of the emotions that we have come up too. So we start to feel dread, fear, anxiety, shame, all of the different emotions linked into that thought. And we keep replaying the thought and we keep experiencing the emotions. And that makes us think that we're taking the worry seriously. But I guess I'm curious because if we were really taking it seriously, wouldn't it be more helpful to problem solve the worry? Wouldn't it be more helpful to do something about it? Maybe put an action plan together, maybe get a pen and paper, write out some pros and cons around how we might cope if insert bad thing happened to us. Because I feel like that might be more productive than just playing the same thought without a solution, without an answer. And also before it's even happened, right through our head. Because when we do that, all we do is we make ourselves really stressed and we make ourselves really unhappy. So as a clinical psychologist, I'm asking you, are you a ruminator? Does it help you? Does it really? And if you're not a problem solver, can you become one? Let me know.